Okay, you ready? Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. What? You yeah, make sure the wheel is straight when we're gonna back out of the garage. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What, what? Make sure you check your mirrors. Wait, wait. Hmm? Before we back out, we gotta make sure, is there enough gas in the car? I guess I should have expected this. Asking my mom to drive was a pretty much a last resort for me, so... But I really didn't have any other choice. She was the only one living with me at the time that could teach me how to drive, so... Yeah, but that did come with the price. Break, 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 break! Believe me, after a while I started to get used to hearing that, but... Yeah, sometimes I hear it in my sleep sometimes. Okay, let's do this. Let's switch seats. I'll drive to the school and then you can practice your parking at the school. Okay, Andrew, and I'll show you how it's really done. We're at the 10 and the 6? 9 and 3? You know, it's very good. Am I too close to the steering wheel? People say I'm really... That person just honked at me. People just really don't know how to drive. Take a left. As soon as my tire just passed the white line, I'm gonna turn the wheel right now at 90 degrees. I'm gonna straighten the wheel and park. Okay, Andrew, let's switch seats. I'm gonna teach you how to park. I mean, I was already pretty bad at parking, so I can see how it could get much worse. And for the record, if there weren't any cars next to me, every time I parked, I probably would be a lot better at it. So, and it's not like I traded paint with any cars before. Is your seatbelt on? Yeah. Oh, okay, it good. Like Let's practice parking. Remember, white line is your friend. I feel like every time I drive, she gets maybe a little too dramatic. Break. Oh no, okay, we're fine. I guess I'm not really that surprised. Make sure this you're one? between the white lines. This one? Okay. Yes. Wait, not that white line. This white line. You, you Maybe she's just being strict. Okay. Set her up. Make sure you set her up. Straight. I guess in the end of the day, she's just being cautious over me. Ever since I was like two years old, it feels like she's always been that cautious over me. I guess I always was curious, like, was like wondering why she's always been more hard on me. I think over time I realized, I think she was just um, protecting me. When I said my mom was the only one living with me at the time who could teach me how to drive, um, I meant that my dad wasn't able to, because he left the house a few years ago. When my dad left the house a few years ago, it was really hard for me. And while I was dealing with that, I never realized how hard it was for my mom. And I guess she did a really good job hiding her pain because I never stopped to realize what, what she was going through as well. And um, long story short, my mom and dad's relationship didn't, uh, ended on, didn't end on a pretty note. I felt like I already had a very close relationship with my dad while my brother had a good relationship with my mom so not being able to ask my dad to teach me how to drive was really heartbreaking for me and as heartbreaking as it was I feel like it might have been a blessing in disguise looking back at it now and uh, through learning how to drive with her I feel like we were able to spend more time together and we uh, got more close since my dad was gone um, and I was able to see how she just she was being very cautious over me because she just wanted to take care of me and protect me and make sure I didn't have to go through any more pain the same way she did. It also made me realize that moving this point forward that my job was to make sure she was safe because she spent her entire life protecting me all 18 years I was growing up, making sure I was safe. And I know I have to do the same thing for her.